Hey, this is Mikey Borp with another video missile tutorial, and today I'm going to answer three common questions I get asked about importing files. The three file types are Illustrator files, Photoshop files, and an image sequence. Let's get started. Now, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. That way you can be one of the first to get all the updates and tutorials that I post. In addition, if you have questions you want me to answer, there's two places to ask those questions. Place number one will be in the discussion tab here on my channel, and the second place would be on my Google Plus After Effects community. There's a link to that community in the banner of my home channel, or you can just click on the link in the description of this video. Okay, here we are in After Effects. Now before we import anything, we need to make sure that it's formatted correctly. So let's jump over to Photoshop. Now I've already got this layer split up. This is a photo that I have split up into different layers because I want to animate them differently. And with Photoshop, there's not a lot you need to do in order to make sure that it's formatted for After Effects. You just need to have each layer on its own layer. Now what you do have to do is make sure that it's set up in RGB mode. If it's set up as CMYK, then it will not open up into After Effects properly. So make sure it's RGB. That goes for anything with video. Always make sure you're set to RGB. So now let's just take this file. Let's save it. So that one's saved. Now before we go and import that into After Effects, let's also talk about Illustrator. Illustrator is a little different. So here I have this wonderful logo I've created. It's actually not that great. Um, I've never claimed to be a designer, but it is what it is. Now, with this, I can save this as an Illustrator file, but it's not going to open properly into After Effects. And let me just save this now, and then I'll save a different version so I can show you the difference. So save as. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it again as a second file. And then if it auto-saves, it won't right over my bad one. Okay. In order to format this for After Effects, what you need to do is have everything that you want to move around on a separate layer. Now you can see over here, let me just bring this out, this layers window. By default, Illustrator puts everything all in one group together. But it's all on one layer. They're all individual and you can move them around and they feel like different layers if you're used to Photoshop, but they're all on one layer. So we need to take those out of this layer and put them all in their own individual layer. So let's do that one at a time. I'm going to start with my name. and I'm going to hit Command X to cut. And then in my layer window, click on new layer. And if we go up to edit, one of the options is paste in place and paste in front, paste in back. I want to do paste in front. And that's going to paste it right in the exact spot where I took it from. Now if I didn't do that, if I just did normal paste, see it doesn't line up to the same spot. So let's undo that, paste in front. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all of these different layers and do that. These different objects, I'm going to cut them and then paste them onto new layers. Okay, now you can see all of them are in different layers instead of one layer with different objects. And this is how to properly set up your Illustrator file to work in After Effects. And you can see all the layers have different colors. If it looks something like this, then you've done it right. Okay, let me save this. Now let's move over to After Effects. Let's first import the Photoshop file. So I'm going to go to File, import and I want to go to file and let's go to my desktop and here it is PSD for AE now before I click open the settings I want to set are right here import as footage no I don't want to do that I want to import as composition and I like to retain the layer sizes open and then it brings up another box. And if you have layer styles in Photoshop, you can actually save those and be able to edit those here in After Effects. I didn't have any layer styles, so it doesn't matter. 
So I'm going to hit OK. And here it is. Now it's set up with the different layers. My only problem is it's now the wrong size. If I look at this composition, it's not the right size for video. So let's put in 1280 by 720. See, here it is, a bigger composition. That's normal video size, but the pictures are not the right size. So I need to scale those up to fit them. So let's scale those up. If I select them all, hit S for scale and bring them up, you can see things aren't scaling quite right. And the way to fix that is to get a new null object. Then let's parent all the layers to that null then take that null object and scale it up and now everything scales properly. And then when you're done, just simply delete the null object. Okay, now let's import that Illustrator file both ways. Let me show you the bad way and the good way. So file, import, files. Now let's open this bad one where I didn't format anything. I kept them all in the same layer. And even if I go here and import as composition, let me show you what happens. I imported it as a composition and we look at it and it's all one layer. So let's import that one that I separated out. File, import, files, and let's go to the good example. Make sure you set it as composition. I'm gonna retain layer sizes. Now, let me double click on this composition and you can see everything is in its own layer, just the way I want it. The last question I'm going to address is importing an image sequence. And that's really simple. Let's go to File, Import, File. Don't import multiple files, let's import just one file. Let's find the sequence. Here it is. Now this one is also a raw sequence. So there's some cool stuff you can do with that. This was shot with a black magic camera. But when I click on that, right there it automatically recognized that it was a sequence and it says camera raw sequence. If that's unchecked, it's going to import just the one frame. If I check it, it's going to import all of these frames as video. So this is good for doing time lapses. It's good if you have a black magic camera. So let's show you what it does when you import it. Now since this is a raw sequence, it's going to open up the camera raw. And I can come in here and I can adjust some settings. And then click OK. Now here it is imported. Let's just grab this and drop it into a new composition. And you can see it imported the whole thing as one video clip. So that's it for the three questions. Now the main thing with importing stuff from Illustrator or Photoshop is to make sure that they're in separate layers. It's especially tricky in Illustrator because by default it keeps all of the elements in one layer even though they're separate. So you need to go in and cut them and paste them into new layers. So if you have any more questions, feel free to ask. There's a discussion tab on my channel. That's a good place to ask questions. Or you can join my Google Plus After Effects community, and that's also a great place to post and ask questions. Thanks.